work, work, work. Let me see you work, work, work. Pot it. I like the way you pot it. Pot it. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing gourmet apples. We have all our items that we need here. Here is Giordelli chocolate. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong, <laughs> but I love this chocolate. Um, these are a brand of sugar cookies. Uh, we have our strawberry wafers. We have our Snickers. And then we're gonna get into our apples and our apple cutter. So this is how you cut the apples. You just press this down with the apple cutter and it slices it boom you just have to make sure that you like really press hard or still be put together like that but we're still good so in this red bucket right here i have some cold water the reason why i have that cold water is because i don't want my apples to brown you can also use lime juice um and just cover it with lime juice and they won't brown so what i did was i tested it to see how long it can sit in the water without browning and it basically sat in there for about 10 hours without browning so if you guys can't automatically or something happens where you can't automatically start dipping your apples and you just want to get out of the way, you can definitely put in some cold water and have them to dip for later and have them clean. Oh, and make sure you clean your apples. I previously had clean apples in cold water and vinegar. So now I'm gonna go ahead and melt down our chocolate, I'm sorry, our white chocolate and our dark chocolate wafers. So we're gonna get those together to put them in the microwave. I normally put mine in for 30 second intervals at a time so it won't burn. And I also add in a little olive oil to get it to the consistency that I want and you'll see that in just a few. All right, so now we're gonna get into prepping our toppings. So we have our sugar cookies, and I'm gonna put about 10 to 12 cookies in here. And I still had some leftover for other stuff, so you definitely will have some leftover, depending on how many apples that you're doing as well, apple slices, or you can be doing full apples as well. So we're putting our sugar cookies. Let's go ahead and put 10 of those, 10 to 12. We're gonna put our wafers in. I went ahead and did about eight wafers in total. Then we're gonna put our top on, turn it on, and just chop it down and get it to a good consistency. You just wanna make sure everything's chopped down. Now, normally I would use a strawberry pack of Jello just to add in a little extra flavor in here as well. I didn't this time because I didn't want the strawberry to be very overpowering to the apple because it's already pretty much that flavor is already there. But you definitely can do that if you want to. All right, so now we're getting into our second topping. We're gonna do the same thing. And of course, make sure you wash it out when you do your second topping. So we're just gonna put it in there and chop it down and make sure everything is evenly chopped. So our chocolates are melted. They've been melted. I just had to sit in there just to keep that heat circulated. Um, I had it in for 30 seconds, so I put it in for 30 more seconds just so it can melt down some more. And there I'm showing you that the apples have not browned and they are ready to go. So you're gonna fully pat dry your apples down. Make sure you include every part of your apple because if it's not fully dry, that chocolate will not adhere to the apple like it needs to.
All right, so our chocolates are done. I'm just mixing it to see what kind of consistency it has. It was kind of thick for me and I wanted to thin it out some. So what I was talking about earlier, how I add the olive oil to it, just to get it to the consistency that I wanted. You can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil, you can use whatever type of oil that you want. So I just did a little drop and you're gonna see that it definitely loosens that consistency. Look at that. It doesn't taste the, sorry, it doesn't change the taste at all. So you don't have to be worried about that. So now we're gonna get into dipping the apple. Now, normally I would use a way bigger bowl than that, but I was trying to be cute <laughs> so you guys can see this. But next time I'll show you with the regular bowl that I use and you can literally just take it and dip the full apple in there instead of having to spoon the chocolate over like I'm doing here. But I mean, either way, it gives the same results. Um, I think the other method that I normally do is a lot quicker. But, um, I mean, as long as it's efficient, that's all we're looking for. So the apple is fully covered, and what we're going to do now is take it and try to make sure that we got all that extra assets chocolate off and dip it into our topping. We're going to roll it around, roll it around, take some of it and put it over it until it's completely covered. Quick little short break, and I definitely can let you guys know where I got this shirt from. So my friend, she has a company called C. Deville Co., and it's going to be in the caption. So you guys tap that link. Shop, shop, shop. She has some amazing specials and deals going on, so you guys can check that out. All right, so now we are getting prepared to do our second topping. Here I am drawing off all the apples. And like I was saying, you have to make sure that it's dry completely to a T because you want all your chocolate to adhere. And you also don't have to use these big shish kebab sticks. You also can use toothpicks if that's easier. All right, so we're getting ready to check our chocolate, make sure it's the consistency that we like. So here I am checking it. Um, darker chocolate tends to be a lot more thicker than white chocolate. I mean, they're both thick, but darker chocolate is a lot more thicker. So I'm going to use a little bit of that olive oil again, just a tinch. And you see how that consistency just loosens up so much and it does not change the flavor at all. All right, so y'all know y'all girl is good for a little razzle-dazzle, so here we're just going a little razzle-dazzle, a little drizzle. Um, of course, you can use like the drizzle applicator, but a spoon or a fork does the same type of deal. So I use my spoon and just take the white chocolate and drizzle over my topped apples. So 
So if you guys are joining us with me, this was awesome. My first time as far as doing the Snickers topping. Um, normally I do like chocolate chip or just the chocolate with the white chocolate um, layer or half and half white chocolate and chocolate, something like that. I never had did the Snickers topping. So we're working on this together and we're learning together. So excuse me, I am going to mess up a few, but we are going to gather it up. This is why I was saying where a bigger bowl would have been way better to use or the normal bowl that I use. But I just wanted you guys to, you know, clearly see what I was doing. But I'm going to just start using the regular bowl that I normally use. So here I am. I'm going to take the topping and just try to pour it over like I did the strawberry crumble. Now that didn't work because this is chocolate and it, when I chopped it down, it basically got kind of tacky because it's chocolate. So you just have to kind of work quickly with it and just drizzle it over it. It doesn't have to, you can't kind of, you can completely cover it, but as far as timing, you probably just want to like, you see how it's getting stuck together and stuff. You definitely just want to just lightly cover it, lightly coat it. All right, so we are going to clean up our space and then we are going to take our apple slices and put them in the refrigerator. You can let them sit in there for 15 to 20 minutes if you want to automatically eat them or you can have them sit in there for 15 to 30 minutes and then package them and just have them in the refrigerator. So normally I would have this on a cookie sheet. That's why I was over there struggling. So let me go ahead and get my cookie sheet. And then we're just going to pull it back and boom, and we'll be good to transfer it to the refrigerator and let it cool. All right, and we are done. So these are how they came out. When I pulled them out, I just went ahead and put them on some cupcake liners. They were really amazing. I hope you guys try them out. Make sure you guys add me, show me your pictures, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I got some more videos coming out to you guys soon. And let's try to get this video up to 300 likes.